Hello and welcome for your 9 pm daily quiz. I hope you have read the day's newspapers because the questions here are based on mostly the day's current affairs news and also some of the news that were important a few weeks back. As you know every single day here we take up questions from topics that have been covered in Hindu newspaper, Indian Express, the PIB down to earth and other important sources. So get ready to test your knowledge but if you are new here do hit the subscribe and the like button as well we really appreciate it. If you're looking for any other of our courses such as the online PSIR live classes that are going on to cover the entire syllabus or the one on one mentoring program for mains UPSC answer editing you can check out my application the link to download my app is in the description of this video also if you want the PDF or of all these classes you can join my telegram channel again the link to join the telegram channel is in the description of this video let's begin with the first question Consider the following statements with regards to the Olympic Games. Number one, China, South Korea, and Japan are the only Asian countries to have hosted the Olympics, with Japan having hosted the games in both 1964 and 2020. Second, the first modern Olympics were held in Athens, Greece, in 1896, based on the plan of Pierre de Coubertin. Third, recently Prime Minister Modi announced India's intention to host Olympic Games, ideally in 2036. how many of these are correct as of the parix olympics are all set to begin from tomorrow that is if you are watching this video on the day of the release if you are watching this the next day then today is the opening ceremony of the paris olympics based on that this question has been asked first is true only three countries so far in asia have hosted the olympic games india is aiming to become uh, the host of olympics in 2036 but there are a lot of hurdles between now and then it takes many many years for this proposal to go ahead for it to be finalized it involves a lot of uh, processes it involves a lot of money spent as well second third are also correct modern olympics started in greece in 1896 and india is planning to host it the answer thus is c all three are absolutely correct this news is covered in all the newspapers i have taken the snippet from the indian express about how paris is all set to host the olympic games question number 2 consider the following statements with regards to india's ai mission now the prime minister of india at the global partnership of artificial intelligence summit 2023 announced that india will launch an artificial intelligence mission second its nodal ministry is a ministry of electronics and information technology also known as meti and third the implementing agency is india ai which is an independent business division under digital india corporation how many of these are correct this again one of those question that i have been taken because it was in the budget speech in the budget speech there was a good healthy allocation done to india's ai mission because of that this is again in the news the answer here again is c all three are correct this ai mission of india was launched in 2023 when india hosted what is called as a gpai the nodal ministry for this mission is the ministry of electronics and information technology while the agency given the responsibility to implement this is india ai which is an independent business division here is this article in the indian express newspaper about how with fresh budget being allocated to the ministry of electronics and it that is about 551.75 crore for india ai mission the government of india especially the it ministry looking to procure 500 more gpus the india ai mission seeks to establish a computing capacity of over 10000 gpus in the coming years so it will be done in a gradual year by year manner next question number 3 with reference to gm mustard crop consider the following statements number 1 mustard flowers contain both female and male reproductive organs which makes the plant largely self pollinating second Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee is responsible for approving proposals relating to genetically engineered organisms. Third, Bacillus thuringiensis cotton or BT cotton and GM mustard are the only two GM crops that have been approved for cultivation in India so far. How many of these are correct? Now, as you know, the GM version of the crop or the modified version of the crops remain in the news. Many of them have gotten permission at some stages, but final permission. is usually delayed in india first statement is true mustard flower is unique in the sense that it has both male and the female organs within one single plant so it can self pollinate it does not require any other plant second is also true that it is the geac 
that is given the responsibility to give in approvals. Now tell me in the comment section, this GEAC works under which ministry? Tell me which ministry specifically is the one under which this committee works. Third statement is wrong. For GM mustard final approval has still not been given. It has been given approval at multiple stages, but again, it has run into a lot of obstacles. Even today, the only GM crop allowed in India is BT cotton. No other GM crop is allowed in India so far. In other words, no other crop that you eat or no other edible crop is allowed in India in the GM form so far. Only BT cotton is allowed because it is not edible. The answer here is B, any two are correct. The Supreme Court couldn't agree on environmental release of GM mustard. This is an article about how Supreme Court has delivered a split verdict on whether to allow the environmental release of GM mustard in India or not. Interestingly, many countries around the world, including if you look at our very neighborhood Bangladesh, they have been adapting a lot of other GM crops much faster as compared to India. Next is question number four. Which of the following statements is not correct regards to the Lingayat community? Number one, the Lingayats are the followers of 12th century social reformer, philosopher and poet Basaveshwara. Second, Basaveshwara was against the caste system and the Vedic rituals. Third, the Lingayats are usually polytheist. And fourth, the Lingayats had been classified as a Hindu subcaste called the Virashev Lingayats and they are considered to be Shaivites. Which of these is not correct? Lingayat community usually remains in the news with respect to Karnataka specifically. Whenever there is politics, they are considered as a big vote bank and also whenever there is news regarding reservation demands, they usually remain in the news. With that respect, which of these is not correct? The third statement is wrong because they are actually monotheists. They believed in only one single God that is Lord Shiva and the different versions of Lord Shiva. So they are not polytheists. Polytheist means one who believes in multiple gods. Monotheist means those who believe in one single God. So they are monotheists and not polytheists. That is why the answer here is C. Other three statements here are correct. There is again an article in the Indian Express newspaper about the politics about the Panch Masli Lingayats quota and their demand in Karnataka in the state government jobs specifically. State government reservations are usually more complex than central government reservations. There are different categories and different subcasts made in different states and that is why there are a lot of demands within the state. We saw this in Maharashtra as well. Next question number five. The Sayadri Tiger Reserve was in the news recently due to translocation of tigers. This forms a common boundary between, so this tiger reserve forms a common boundary between which states? Maharashtra, Karnataka, Goa and Gujarat. So which of these states, basically if you look at these states on the map, the common boundary between these states is formed by the Sayadri Tiger Reserve, which of these three are we talking about? The answer here is 1, 2 and 3. That is Maharashtra, Karnataka and Goa. These are the three states on whose common boundary we have the Sayadri Tiger Reserve. It is not in the news today. It was in the news a few weeks back. As you can see, Maharashtra to translocate tigers to Sayadri Reserve. There was a big article in the Indian Express newspaper and in other newspapers as well just a few weeks ago about this tiger reserve. To end the session today again, I have an important infographic for all of you. Today's infographic is about the parts in the Indian constitution. An important information that you must remember for the prelims as well as the mains examination in the UPSC. If you are new here, do hit the subscribe and the like button. I'll see you tomorrow at 9 p.m. for the next session. Till then, have a good day ahead. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.